At the end of this lecture, we would have had created a main HUD widget, which would house all the small widgets like the notifications widget, which we would create after the main HUD and we'd add it to the main HUD widget. And finally, we will push notifications when the character enters a trigger, uh, which will read press E to enter the vehicle. And then we'll also clear the notifications when the character exits the trigger or when the character has embarked into the vehicle, right? Let's get started. Okay, so back into the editor, let's go down to the UI folder, into the widgets folder, right click and create a new user interface widget, widget blueprint. Okay, I'm gonna call this W underscore main HUD, W stands for widget, right? And then I'm gonna create another widget and I'll call this W underscore screen notifications notifications right all right so let's open up the w underscore main hud and let's add no before we do that uh let's go over to the screen notification i'm going to save all first i'm going to go over to the screen notifications and i'll change this from fill screen to desired on screen okay and then i'll get rid of the canvas panel i don't need the canvas panel I will be getting in a size box, drop it in here. Inside the side size box, I'm gonna add an overlay that can house all the different elements. And inside the overlay, I'm going to be adding a text block like that. Okay, and that's it. And now the text block, uh, let's make this horizontally, or you can just say horizontally align fill and vertically align fill. So that's gonna fill the entire thing. Now if I Try something here, if I type something here, uh, I guess press E to enter the vehicle, right? So it takes the size of the text itself, okay? Oh, well, the text is going to be different every single time. That's why we have a generic, uh, you know, generic widget and we're calling it screen notifications. So anything that you want to throw on the screen show as a notification to the player, we can use this particular widget, all right? Uh, and we can always refer to this widget from the main HUD, which we'll be adding soon. But before that, let me change the name of this variable. I'm gonna make this, uh, I'm gonna change the name to txt notification, right? And then I'll just click on S variable, save, compile and save. Now we don't need to name anything else. We can just close this or we can just keep that open. That's okay. And inside the canvas panel here, uh, if you scroll down and if you look for user created category and you'll find the screen notifications widget that we just created or you can simply search for it in the search palette so i'm going to drag this and drop it inside the canvas panel so that will create an instance there and i'll put this in the center right and i will just zero the positions out and i'll make this 0.5 and 0.5 so that it's absolute center and i might probably move this slightly towards the top I think that's good enough. So we can get a notification here, all right? Compile and save. Now let's go over to the screen notifications and let's create a couple of functions, okay? And we're gonna call this set text uh, notification. Notification. And this will take in uh, an input and this will be of type, uh, we'll just say txt, I'll just say text, right? And this will be of type text, right? Now we'll bring in the txt notification, get it, I'll get a reference to it, and we we'll just say set text, connect these two nodes, and simply connect that to the in text here, simple. Right, and the second function would be called clear text notification. Okay. Now we don't need any inputs for this. Instead, we'll just bring this in, get this, and we'll simply set the text to nothing. We'll just I will just supply this nothing. We just supply this node nothing, and it's gonna nullify everything here. It's gonna clear the text for us. Okay. All right, so go back to W underscore main HUD and let's push this back up by, let's say, two minus 300. 
I think minus 300 is good. All right, compile, save. Now let's go over to our player controller. That's inside blueprints, controllers, and this is the player controller that we are using currently, but we haven't touched it yet. So open full blueprint editor. Now inside here, I will be adding the, this widget, the main HUD. Inside begin play, I'm gonna say create widget, create widget, and then I'm gonna select our main HUD. And then uh, let's first promote this to a variable and we'll call this main HUD ref, okay? Main HUD ref and now we, this can be added to viewport, just like that. Just to check whether this works, uh, what we're gonna do is go to screen notifications, go to the designer, get, uh, click on the designer tab and add some text here uh, to the screen text notification right so let's add something like testing screen notifications right so that will be that and instead also make this font light okay now if you come back to main HUD you should be able to see that there and the only thing you have to do is uh, contain this whole text inside uh, this widget so if you say size to content there you go now that's centered if you hit play so you can see testing screen notifications that's that thing is working excellent and also make this font color not white but let's try and make this black okay compile and save hit play perfect okay all right so we can change that later on. So now we can simply get rid of this text, compile and save, come back to a player controller. We'll also need the references to, we'll also need to store the references for the screen notifications as well and all the other widgets that are added to the main HUD. So now inside main HUD, let's say, let's pull out wire from main HUD ref or we don't have to do that we already have a reference and we can get this here and we can say get w underscore screen notifications because we have uh, you know because we have made this into a variable this widget into a variable it's showing up here now uh, let's make this change this into screen notifications notifications Compile, save, come back to a play controller and promote this to a variable. All right? And change the name to screen notifications ref. All right? There you go. Perfect. All right. Now that we have all these references, let's go back to Seahawk underscore BB and if it's third person, we have casted this to third person, we have to do something here. So we also need a reference to our controller. Out here, we'll say get player controller, get player controller and say cast to a player controller. Okay. And now promote this to a variable. Let's call this player controller ref okay and actually make this p small lowercase because it's going to be a private variable compile save and let's also get the player pawn get player pawn okay and let's simply promote this direct uh, straight away so that we can get a reference to this if you want to do calculations of where the pawn is and so on and so forth. We don't really need the class of the pawn because we know the class is third person character, but unless we want something specific from that class, we can simply uh, cast it or we can simply save that as a generic pawn. Okay, and then we'll call this player ref, player ref, and this is also going to be a private variable. Right, so now that we have the private variables, we have the references, let's actually put them into 
their own category so we'll just call this category references and we'll dump the player ref into its own category okay now let's bring in the player controller ref okay and let's go over to the screen notifications get the screen notifications ref and let's call a set text notification okay now what is okay now what is the text notification going to be uh, it's going to be press e to enter the vehicle exclamation compile and save let's hit play now uh, nothing is being shown the moment we enter the trigger we should be able to see something there you go press e to enter the vehicle now the moment we come out it's not going to work so for that what we have to do is simply use the same references put this in the middle because we're going to share the references i'm just going to call clear text notification right the moment we step out of the trigger the notifications should be cleared and jump jump the moment we enter press e to enter the vehicle and it goes away perfect i think i'm not happy with the font there and the text notification i think we should bring this back to white and let's make this not bold but regular let's try this again and also because the environment is way too bright all right that's better so that's it for this video in the next video we're going to be adding that progress bar and we will be also making that progress bar functional thank you very much